In this video, let's learn what is generalized least square. Let's start from this regression here. X is the vector of explanatory variables, and the beta is the vector of e, the slope of x. In the GLS, we transform this regression. You get this y tilde equal x tilde times beta plus error term tilde. And the goal of this transformation is to get homocedasticity. That means you want to make the variance of the errors constant. Let's calculate the variance of the original error term. It's given by sigma square, a constant term, times a matrix V. V is a function of all explanatory variables, x. If you think V as just one explanatory variable, you are in the case of weightless square. See that weightless square is a special case of generalized least square. Let's define the inverse of V as C trace times C. We need this inverse matrix to remove this Vx. We can decompose the inverse of V in C trace and C because V is a quadratic matrix non-singular. Let's transform the regression. Y tilde is equal C times Y. X tilde equals C times X. And the error tilde equals C times the old error term. Then let's write the new regression. Y tilde equals X tilde times beta plus error tilde. Now, Let's compute the variance of the error tilde, conditional to x tilde. We get c times sigma square times v times c trace. We treat sigma square as a constant, and the sigma square goes outside. And what is this term here? Identity matrix. We prove that with this transformation, we get the homocedasticity. Now, let's write the formula for beta hat of a generalized least square. The difference from ordinary square is that now you have x tilde here, x tilde, and the y tilde instead of y. Here in the second line, we replace x tilde by cx and the y tilde by cy. Now let's apply the trace operator. You have to invert the matrix and put the trace in each term. We did the same process for this trace here. See that we change c and x and put the trace. And by definition, C times C is the inverse of V. We did the same substitution in this side as well. For all more advanced estimator, you are going to see the same thing. Inside here, you have the inverse matrix of the error term. What happens if both the inverse of V is the identity matrix? You get the beta hat of ordinary square. Therefore, Ordinary square is a special case of a generalized least square. You can infer that there is no point in run ordinary square under the assumption of homocedasticity. You must always run GLS instead of a ordinary square. We don't suppose to get different betas here, but in practice, you are going to get some slightly difference. If you get very different betas, this will count against ordinary square because GLS is more general than ordinary square. In case of very different betas, I would infer that ordinary square suffer for a very serious misspecification problem.